Hey guys, iPhone Punk here, and I'm going to show you how to game on the brand new Mac Mini. It's not too hard, a little bit of uh, just a little bit of downloading drivers, everything like that, and you should be ready to go playing games, no problem. Um, this is the base model Mac Mini, uh, i5 dual core Ivy Bridge, so you're pretty much uh, getting the four threads and a Intel. HD 4000 graphics card. So it is a beast of a integrated graphics card and that is saying something. Integrated graphics are pretty much shit most of the time but this thing is actually game playable. So it is. So uh, I'm just going to show you the drivers to download the to get the graphics card or get the integrated graphics to run at best potential and I'm going to show you a few bit of gameplay with Skyrim. And if you just want a few more games, just uh, rate up, subscribe, and leave us a comment. All right, let's get to it. All right, um, this is my 32-inch Samsung television that's going to be running off. These are pretty much all the games that I have installed currently. I have uh, about two or three more to install, and let's have a look at the specs. Sorry about that. All right, we're rocking. Uh, Ivy Bridge i5, if I can get to focus. There we go. We're rocking an Intel Core i5, uh, Ivy Bridge. Not a bad little processor. Two, dual core uh, with four threads. Cache caches, we are looking at. Still not bad specs. Motherboard, Apple Inc. Mac motherboard memory we've got DDR3 4 gigs of RAM and um, remember that the integrated graphics will be uh, sucking a bit of that RAM out so I'm getting 16 gigs of RAM soon enough some uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM to get the perfect gaming experience from this machine um, we got DDR3 yep uh, graphics Whatever wants to see. Really, it doesn't give you anything, got uh, anything, information on the graphics. Just that it's Intel four thousand, and that it's running at one thousand eight hundred and nine megabit bytes per second, which is a gig and a bit. On the Mac. Uh, in Mac OS X Metal Line, it's running at 512 megabytes. So I don't know if it's the driver that I installed that boosted it up a little bit, but um, definitely makes a difference in the gaming. So that's CPUs, and now we're going to try and play Skyrim. Right, let's get to it. We got our Xbox controller. And we have the 32 inch Samsung television. The Mac Mini is going to run this at. Get rid of the mood. There. Go to options. We have it running on high texture, uh, low blur radius, shadow detail low. Uh, Decal quality medium reflection land on. This is just the water reflections. Everything's on for water reflections. Uh, and this is my distance um, thing. It's how far away you can actually see people. Um, we have the resolution at sixteen by nine hundred. If you want to put that up to nine twenty it gets a little bit patchy so what I suggest is starting off with that sixteen by nine hundred and once you upgrade your sixteen gigs of RAM then you try out the nineteen twenty by eighteen hundred yeah one a one oh a o resolution um I will be doing a comparison review once I do get the vengeance RAM and we can have a look and see how that turns out. But right now, the game runs perfectly. I already have a save. Well, 
I'll just start from here. Very quick loading, as you may see from the little Mac Mini. Um, it has been voted as one of the quickest Macs out there right now, compared up to the new Mac Book Pro Retina Display 16, 15 inch. So it's a very quick little machine. As you may see, it's very sharp, even at 1600. So it is. So, see the wood grain? I had a. Mm. So yeah, I'm just gonna pause this and then go f go further into the game. So as you may see, there is pretty much no lag, and this game is very intensive on the graphics, and as you may know. This next part will be a little bit more of a test for this uh, game. I haven't played it yet on uh, on the uh, this computer. Last time I played this, I played it on a 2008 MacBook Pro, late 2008, with the Nvidia 9600 graphics. I was pretty much playing on the same um, same resolution. Except this, I've actually been able to put on all the reflections on the water, which I couldn't do on the other machine. That machine was running 8 gigs. Very little tear on the game's graphics. Usually you'd see kind of like lines jagging through if you had it in any other uh, resolution or something like that. Playing this in HD 3000 graphics would be would be just horrible, I think. This is pretty much playing on medium to high resolution. So long. Come on, get in here.
As you may see, there's absolutely no lag as well, so that's always a good thing as well, also. And that's pretty much level 1 on Skyrim, pretty much, I think a lot of people have already seen it, <laughs> a dozen times, so. Good. Right. Let's uh, go to items. I was really surprised with the graphics on this yoke, so I was considering that uh, it's definitely two, three, ten times better than the HD 3000 that was out so long ago. I'm going to be trying other games than just Skyrim so on, on the, this machine. But I will say that the processing power on this thing is 10 times better than what most than my old MacBook Pro. Definitely does make a difference having an i5 processor compared to the Core 2 Duo. So this is the gameplay of Skyrim. <laughs> 